Greetings. We're just taking a quick look at one new feature that's been added with the Jupyter X XM Manager 1.40, uh, and that has to do with the arpeggio. Um, the Jupyter XM, when you have the transmit edit mode on, it will transmit uh, bulk changes for different features, and one of the ones that it does is the arpeggio. And uh, just to show that here, I've got everyone's favorite scene 212, the 80s split loaded. Okay, so we can load settings here, and, and normally we have to load the settings so we get the two to synchronize, and this shows us what the settings are for that scene. But now let's go into the arpeggio, and uh, one of the improvements we have is when we change a arpeggio either here or I'm changing the, the rhythm and the pattern, either location, uh, we, we capture the complete bulk message that comes back out of the XM that transmits all the information. So you don't need to keep, once you're up and running, you don't need to keep hitting the load settings changes when you change here. And if you haven't noticed it here, you, you see these buttons over here, the rhythm pattern sets, tempo, tone, and kit, and you can actually see what's going on here. If we jump over to the read tones page here, and I change those, what happens is, um, just a note here, the kit or tones only changed when the part key switch is off. So let's turn the part key switch off it never changes on part one, but it's parts two through five are the ones that it does. So let's just go over here and watch. And as we change it here, you'll actually see that it's selecting a tone here at the same time. So if you change, obviously if it changed the pattern here, it changes the drum pattern. And down here, the higher numbers, it actually changes three different tones at times. So just a quick overview, uh, one, Neat little feature that we've added with a 1.40 release.